Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be focusing on polar area charts in Chart.js. Let's get going on that now. Okay, so by now we've sort of seen the pattern with these. We've created these charts. They all look really super nice. They all have really great animations. So at this point, we're going to continue just talking about different charts until we've covered the last two. Now the last two are going to be a polar area chart and a pie and donut chart. Now what's great about both of these is that we should be able to use the same data, which is really where we've been going this whole time, right? So we have now once again, compared to our radar, our data is going to be a little bit different, but we'll get to keep some things since we had this radar chart before with these labels, we'll continue to keep these labels. The first thing we need to do, though, is we need to change this from radar to polar area and that's in camel case. So polar area. Okay, so the type of a chart is going to be a polar area. The data is going to be in a similar structure, but not entirely similar here. Let's go ahead and get rid of one of these data sets. Okay, just so we have this nice and easy. Now, in addition to this data set, what we'll need here is four different colors. Now we have a background color, which is this green, and we have a border color shirt. Let's actually just get rid of this border color for now, make it less complex here. And what we really need is for each one of these points of data, we need a background color. And we don't have to do anything special because these labels, there's five labels here, and those five labels are going to pertain to these five data points. And for this background color, we want this to be an array of strings here. And I'm just going to grab some flat UI colors because why not flat UI colors look good. And we'll just need, uh, let's see, we need these five colors in here and we should be good to go. By the way, I didn't pick these colors based on anything. I just sort of grabbed five at random. Okay, so we now have our five colors. We have our data. The label is going to be for this particular type of data and the labels themselves like this. So we should be good to go here because we have our data, which is five points, our color, which is five points, and our labels, which are five points. And if we head back to our site and refresh, you see we have this awesome, awesome polar area chart. Now a polar area chart is great because as you can see, each one of these chunks is an equal size, right? However, the amount they extend out is what is going to be determined by their actual value. And the further and further they go out, the larger they end up looking because they end up taking up a bigger slice here, even though they only take up the same fraction of this circle in terms of radius. But as you can see, I mean, we threw some data in here and as always, this thing looks awesome. At this point, I, I can't necessarily recommend using another charting library, honestly, because unless you need something really, really customized, this thing is just awesome. Now this chart has a few particular options that we can actually modify. You'll notice that when we refresh this, we get this rotating and scaling in. Let's say we weren't super excited about that rotation. It's hard to believe, but I, I, I like the rotation, but it's hard to believe that you, you wouldn't be excited about it because personally I like it. But if you hated that rotation, you can actually turn that off. I mean, this is the great part about any of these things is that if it does something automatically, you can tell it, hey, cut it out. So we can say options and just like we've passed in options before, we can have a object here. Now we can have a property of animation and the animation has a couple of different options here. We can do this animate rotate or animate scale. So if we were to say animate rotate, we could say this is false and this should allow us to have this animate on but not rotate. So if we refresh, 
You see we now just get this scaling based animation where it's zooming out from the start, perfect. And let's say we wanted the opposite of that to be true. We love the animation, but we thought the scale sort of messed with how you understood it. So we can say animate scale is false and it's going to keep and it also has pretty darn sweet. Look at all our data flying there. And if we wanted to have both of them off, you can have both of them off. Just pass in another property here. Super cool. So this is Polar Area Charts with chart.js. If you want to have access to this code as well as downloadable videos and some extra content, including some chart.js themes that I've created myself, you can become a level up pro at store.leveluptutorials.com. Or if you just want early access to these videos, store.leveluptutorials.com, and you can purchase both downloading and streaming access of this series. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.